Loves. Welcome to the Sparkle Z Boutique. Today I'm coming to you showing you how I installed a renter friendly glitter wall. I hope you like the way that it turned out. If you want to know how I did that, you know what you got to do. Keep watching. Shine right like a diamond. Here is a list of supplies you would need to do this DIY glitter wall in your home. However, I wanted to mention that you can use whatever color paint you want and whatever color glitter paint additive that you would like. I just wanted to make sure that everything that you pay attention to the steps in this video and not the colors specifically. I'm so happy that you are taking this time with me. I would also love if you haven't already to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and set up notifications so you can be notified every time I post. When you view my videos and share them, they really help my channel and it really motivates me to want to come and give you more content. I would love to have you. The first step in making this glitter wall temporary is this paintable wallpaper. You can use any kind that you want, but I got this from Lowe's and the name brand is Scott Living. And I got this one because it has a bit of a texture to it and I felt that the glitter would adhere to this wallpaper the best. And when it's time for me to go, I can just remove the wallpaper and I'm all good to go. Okay, I started off with this wall. It is the wall in between my living room and my dining room. And I just wanted you guys to see what it looked like before. But I did on this one side, go ahead and do a sample of how the wallpaper looks when it is applied and dried. And now I'm gonna go through and put the wallpaper up and I pre-cut all the pieces so that I can move as fast as possible. I will leave the information below for this wallpaper and I just followed the instructions that was on the wallpaper itself. As you can see, I am putting the wallpaper flush to where I want it to start. And after I take my hand and smooth it out, I cut a little bit with the scissors and I'm gonna fold it in half so that way when I cut it, I will have two pieces that are the same size. And then I will also do the same step again from the top of the wall to the bottom of the wall. And I would be able to determine how many strips I'm gonna need so that I can keep this process going. After waiting for the wallpaper to dry, I went ahead and put the glitter paint additive from Hemway inside the paint itself. I got this silver in three different sizes. I got it in the ultra fine, the fine, and the chunky. First we have the ultra fine, then we have the fine, and then we have the chunky. Hopefully you can see the difference between the three. I went online to try to figure out what would be the best way to add this glitter paint additive to my paint because I wanted the glitter to show up as a shimmer and I didn't want it to get drowned inside the paint. So I found out online that you can add a little bit of water to the paint which make the paint thin out and that way the glitter will show up more. And you guys let me know if you think it worked. Okay, now after stirring the paint well, I'm going to start adding all the glitter that I have inside of the paint. And I'm going to stir it in periodically to make sure that we have a even consistency so I don't have any clumps on the wall. Okay, I want to give y'all a view of how it looks going inside of the paint. And I used total altogether three bags in this, I guess, half of gallon of paint. 
and again you can't see it in the paint but trust me it is in there okay now after adding two coats of regular gray paint without the glitter i'm going to take the roller and roll on this paint with the glitter additives and i did want to add that i did add a little water to the paint because i want it to thin out because my goal in doing that was to hope that the glitter would show up better because I didn't want it to be inside of some thick paint so you really can't see the glitter. Well, as you'll be able to see as I'm rolling it on, can you see those little sparkles coming up in that paint? I think it's so beautiful and I am getting excited to see what it's going to look like once it dries. It's going on smoothly and I am going to put two coats of this paint on the wall, letting the first coat dry completely and then the next day I added a second coat. After I finish the first coat, I like to go back in with the brush again, not adding any more paint, just really going over it again to and with other paint that I still have in the roller, just making sure that it is on there evenly. And you can really see that you can't even tell that that is wallpaper. It is going so well. I'm so pleased with this process and it's very renter friendly so that when it's time for you to go you just take the wallpaper down and i am really excited about how it's coming out so far let me know down below what you think okay this is what it looks like after two coats of paint and i absolutely love it however they did add this buffer pad in my package where well I, I picked it and the purpose of it is they said that if you take this buffer pad and go over the whole wall then you should be able to see a difference in the way the glitter pops it should pop even more so next I'm going to take this buffer pad and see if we notice a difference in the way this glitter sparkles in this paint with this buffing pad. I wanted to show you all the angles so we can be able to compare and see if we see a difference after using this buffer pad. You can see some of the seams in the wallpaper, but I did go back and fix those and I also painted the white back around the trim so it would be nice and neat. Some of those seams I did not correct because I felt like due to the fact of the texture of the wallpaper and the glitter, it, was, it really wouldn't be that important to make sure it's absolutely seamless because to me it's not noticeable and it still turned out beautiful. Okay, here are what the buffer pads look like. They come two in a pack, so let's see what okay, happens. I recorded this first part months ago and time got away from me and I never did post a video which was disappointing because I really wanted to share it with you guys because I really thought it was a good idea. However, I went back today and recorded this part showing how it looks after using the buffing pad. Let's see if we see a difference. This is what it looked like in the daytime. It's about 5 or 6 p.m. As you can see, you definitely can see the glitter. This with no lights, just daylight. Definitely can see it. It's hard to see it without the light, but it's definitely in there. This okay. is what it looks like with the light on. You see how it's flicking? 
Here are the lights on. Flicker, 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 flicker. Hopefully you can see that. You see it's flicker, flicker, the shimmering? It's gorgeous. Okay, and now I'm about to take this this pad and take it across the wall and see if we see a difference. Okay, I'm gonna try to show this with the phone in my hand. I apologize in advance if it shakes, but I'm trying to give you a close up view. And this, so you get two of these in here and it's supposed to bring the glitter out with up to 5% more coverage. And they said to put it in a circular motion. Ooh, that works. You see that? How it's making the glitter more glittery? Hopefully you can see that. It actually works. Wow, it actually works. Okay, let's go to a different section of the wall in the hallway. A little bit of light here. The light is not as good in here, but. Oh yeah, that definitely works. That definitely, definitely, definitely works. Okay, one more section down here at the bottom right here oh yeah this definitely works okay so I'm gonna do the whole wall and I'm gonna do a final review You definitely can see a difference. Hopefully, I can get a side-by-side -side shot showing you the difference because you definitely can see the difference after using that strawberry. It's hard to tell because, like I said, with this lighting, I'm trying to get a shot for you. Nighttime. Look at that. Isn't that pretty, though? And that's how powered it. I wish y'all can see it in person. It really does not do it justice. But hopefully you can get a good idea of it. And again, don't forget this is a paintable, this is a paintable wallpaper. So when I leave, I can just take it right down like wallpaper. Hopefully you liked the tutorial and it was easy to follow. If you have any questions, you can of course leave them down below and I will be more than happy to answer the questions. I will also put a coupon code down there and also a link to where you can purchase the paint glitter paint additives that I am using in this video. I love you guys and as always, be your own kind of beautiful because you, my love, are beautiful. See you next time. Bye.